Hello, I am Tanzir. Uh, the name of my project is Does a set of line segments have one face? An efficient sweep line algorithm. So uh, this is the demo of my project. So I have actually developed a web application and this is the user interface. So we can draw line segments here with our mouse. So let's say I draw these three line segments. Now, uh, there are two faces in this particular example. This is the one bounded face and there is a face at infinity, which is unbounded. Uh, we have the clear button here, so we can clear these segments that we have drawn. And let's say we draw another uh, example. So this is another example and we have six line segments here, but uh, there is only one single face at infinity. So we can actually uh, visually see these faces. And now we want our algorithm to tell us uh, if this, uh, if a particular set of line segments have one face or more than one face. So let's start by giving some input segments. So I have given this five uh, line segments and after uh, my, I, I am done with uh, giving the inputs, I can uh, press the done button here. So as soon as I pray, press the done button, a red sweep line appears at the top. And also uh, there's a graph representation of the line segments here. So. Uh, as there are five line segments in the input, there are five vertices in the graph here. And notice that uh, all of the vertices have a different color because all the vertices in a single component will have the same color and um, different vertices in different components will have different color. That is the main idea behind coloring here. Initially, none of the vertices are connected and that's why they have their own components and they have distinct colors here. Also, we can see the sweep line status and the event queue here, no segments are yet active. That's why the SLS is empty here and the event queue is sorted according to the Y coordinate. And that's why uh, the starting point of the line segment one, A1 is at the top of the event queue. So now we can start the simulation. Uh, we can press next here. And what happens is the immediate next event, the event at the top of the queue gets processed. So S1 becomes active and it's pushed into the SLS. A1 is popped from the queue and the sweep line has moved a little bit down. So then uh, we, process the next event, and then we process the next event. Uh, we can look at the SLS right now. Um, it's sorted according to the X coordinates uh, of the line segments at the height of the sweep line. That is the Y coordinate of the sweep line, the current Y coordinate. And that's why uh, S1, then S2, and then S4. This is the order we are getting in the SLS. So we click uh, and get our next event. And probably the next event will be an intersection point and that would be an interesting event. So yeah, we have got an intersection point which is the intersection between line segment three and one. And that's why we have an edge between three and one here and they become the same color. Uh, their colors are updated and also um, the uh, SLS and the queue is updated also. Uh, we can look at the event queue that uh, some of the intersection points have third brackets uh, around them. Uh, this is to show that uh, there are two versions of the Bentley Oatman sweep. Uh, the original version is uh, not space efficient and it contains all the discovered intersection points in the event queue. The space efficient version, uh, version doesn't contain um, event points, uh, sorry, it doesn't contain the intersection points 
uh, where the line segments are not consecutive in the SLS. So for example, um, X12, this is an intersection point between line segment one and line segment two. Since they are not uh, consecutive, they are not in adjacent places in the SLS. That's why uh, this particular intersection point will not have been present in the space efficient version of Bentley Oatman. Uh, it would have been discovered and then again popped and then again discovered at a later time. Uh, so here we show these points with a third bracket around them to show that they would not be present in the spatial uh, space efficient version of Bentley Oatman. So we can continue with our simulation. So we uh, press next and we uh, discover another intersection point between line segment two and three. And here you can also see that the graph is updated. And then we discover, we would discover the intersection bet uh, between uh, line segment three and four. So line segment three is before line segment four here because uh, the x coordinate is um, of line segment three is before line segment four, but at the intersection point, they both have the same x coordinate, right? Because that's the intersection point. And the Benji Oatman algorithm tells us that at this, after processing that intersection, uh, these two line segments should uh, swap their places. And so we would expect that S3 and S4 would swap their places after we process this particular intersection event. So we press next and yes, S4 and S3 have swapped their places. So, and also the graph is updated. Um, so let's go to the next event, which is the uh, ending point of the line segment three. So we have reached uh, the ending point of line segment three, and um, that's why line segment three is popped from the SLS. Now we reach an intersection point between the line segment one and line segment two. And as we can see, this is the uh, first time we have discovered a face. Visually, we can um, uh, we see that uh, there is a face, a bounded face here, right? And also our uh, web app tells us that it has found a cycle and it uh, asks us if we want to continue the simulation. So if we press okay, it will continue the simulation. Let's press okay. So we press next. The events are uh, getting simulated. Oh, and also, sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, we can see that a cycle has been formed in the graph also, right? So then we pre, uh, process the next event, and now everyone is part of uh, part of a single component. So that's why everyone has the same color. So we have only one more event uh, presenting the event queue, and now we have also processed that. So the event queue and SLS both are empty. We can press next, and the simulation will end. So um our web app tells us that there is more than one phase and the simulation has ended so we can press okay and if we want to start another simulation we can just press clear here and everything gets cleared uh we can give again some input so maybe this is a simple input and uh, it doesn't have a bounded face and Let's just uh, quickly go over the simulation and let's see what our, uh, our app says at the end. So all events are processed. There was only one single intersection point and that's why there is one single edge in the graph, which is between segment one and two. And definitely there are no cycles in the graph. There are no bounded face in the uh, UI and the algorithm should tell us that there is only one single phase, which is the phase at infinity. So it tells us that there is one phase at infinity and the simulation has ended. So it also, uh, it works correctly for this example too, these types of example. So 
yeah, this was the demo of my project. Thank you.